Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week I'm going to be working on the inventory in Equilinox. So it's actually already Tuesday today, yesterday I had the day off because I spent all weekend working on last week's videos and I've actually only got until Friday to work on the game this week because on Thursday evening my parents are actually coming to visit me in Berlin so I'm going to be spending the rest of the week with them. So only three days to develop Equinox this week but hopefully I can still get a lot done and make some good progress. So to start off today I've been doing some work on the inventory which I started off last week but I didn't really get very far so I've been doing a lot of work on that this morning and the first thing that I've done is to make sure that the inventory can scale up to fit in any sized frame. So I've got two different sized frames here, this large one and then this small one here and you can see that the items have automatically scaled to fit inside their frame. Um, I can also change the number of visible items in the inventory here so I can set that to whatever number I want and then that also will cause the items to scale to fit into the frame. Next up I've been working on scrolling in the inventory which you can now do with the mouse wheel and this only works when your cursor is over the inventory so when it's over the world you can still use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out but when you put the cursor over the inventory uh, it allows you to scroll up and down through the items. Uh, obviously I need to make sure that the items can't be seen above and below the inventory frame so I'm going to work on that next and also I need to add some limits to the scrolling as well. Next up I've just added this bit of code here which makes sure that when an item goes off the inventory it doesn't get shown anymore uh, so you can see that here when the items go off the top of the inventory they disappear and the same for the bottom so now I just need to make sure that there are some limits to the scrolling so that you can't just scroll all the way up and all the way down like this. It is 20 to 12 now and I've just finished implementing these arrows in the inventory which you can now click on to scroll through the inventory and when you can't scroll any further the arrows turn grey to indicate that there aren't any more items in that direction. Um, but if you still want to you can just use the mouse wheel to scroll and the arrows will still turn grey to indicate when you can't scroll anymore. This afternoon I've been creating a few new icons for the game so first I made these new page number icons which I think suits the style of the GUIs a bit better than the other ones because the other ones were circles um, and everything else in the GUIs is kind of square or rectangular so I thought the square ones would suit it a bit better and I've just started work on a custom mouse cursor which you can see here and when I click on one of the items in the inventory like this you can see that it shows which item is now currently selected and which item will be placed if I click in the world. It is Wednesday morning and today I'm just going to be finishing off the stuff to do with the inventory and then hopefully later I'll have some time to get started with biomes. It is 11 o'clock now, it's a beautiful sunny morning today and so far I've just been doing a bit more work on the custom cursor so you can now place entities in the world using this system and you can see I've added a little count to the custom cursor which indicates how many more of that type of entity you have in your inventory also, if you right click now, you can basically cancel the placement and the same thing uh, if you open up another GUI. And I've just been doing some work on having items removed from the inventory. So you can see when I place this last tree, the item automatically gets removed from the inventory and the other items move up. But I'm getting a bit of an error when I then click the bottom item in the inventory. Um, it's an index out of bounds thing. And I'm just working on fixing that at the moment. So I managed to fix that bug and then for the rest of the morning I've just been tidying up some of the inventory code and now I'm stopping for some lunch which I'm having on the balcony today because it's very nice weather. So I have now pretty much finished work on the inventory and the custom mouse cursor so you can see the inventory working as it should be here when you click on an item you select it and you can place it in the world um, items can get removed from the inventory without a problem and also I've made the outside of the custom cursor change colour to indicate when you can place it so now it goes green to indicate when it can be placed um, so when it's in the GYs you can see that the outside the outline is white um, but when you're over the terrain it's green to indicate that you can place the item so that's all working now and I'm going to start work on biomes now for the rest of the day I did a bit more work on entity placement so now each entity can have its own placement sound so for example the sheep make this sound, the grass makes this sound and most trees and other entities make this thudding sound. 
um, and I went through and edited all the entity files to give them each their placement sounds. And I did want to do a bit more work on biomes this afternoon, but I just didn't have the motivation to do it. Um, so instead of procrastinating for the rest of the day, I decided to move on to something new, and I started planning out the breeding trees, which are actually going to be quite complicated, so I've been doing a lot of planning for that. But I'm going to stop now because I'm going off to my favourite Vietnamese restaurant for some dinner. To finish off the day, I've just been doing a bit of editing for this week's behind the scenes devlog video because I need to get that all done before my parents come tomorrow evening, but it's getting late now so I'm going to get to bed. It is Thursday morning, it's very gloomy and rainy outside, and today I'm just going to be working on this week's videos, so the behind the scenes and the tutorial, and perhaps also getting a couple more things done in Aquilinox. Just been taking a quick break from video making and I've made a couple more icons for the toolbar up here. So I created this book icon here which is going to be for tasks and achievements and these tasks are going to give you things like a DP reward or they might unlock a new base species for you and things like that. And I also created this world icon here and clicking on this gives you an overview of the world which is going to be useful if I decide to limit the zoom of the camera for performance reasons which I'm thinking of doing because that would allow for a bigger world. It is 12 o'clock now, I've just been doing some of the editing for this week's behind the scenes devlog video, and now I'm enjoying some of the leftover sushi from last night. This afternoon I've just been doing some work on this week's tutorial, which is going to be about post-processing effects, and also in GIMP I've been planning out the information GUI, which can show information about a species. So that's going to pop up somewhere around here on the screen. Uh, at the top it will have the name of the species, and then a few tabs. So this will just be general information and then these will be uh, to do with the breeding trees and this will obviously close the GY and that's going to be what I'm going to be working on next week. So that is going to be it for this pretty short week of development. Um, I'm going off now to meet my parents and then I'm going to have a couple of days off while they're here and then I'll be back to work on Sunday on the tutorial and then obviously back to work on Aquilinox next week. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.